Hey guys, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com and today is October 19th, 2013 and this is an update for Super Typhoon Francisco. We're watching Japan very close. We got, in fact, two systems. One right behind it and this looks like this could be a dangerous situation with Super Typhoon Francisco and this low, new low system right behind it, folks. It looks very close and it looks very dangerous so I'm going to keep watch on it. For this particular reason, the site has gone to condition yellow, which means watch for Japan. We'll be watching for Japan because the path of the storm is, according to the JTWC, heading towards Japan. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to bring up the latest uh, radar map, but first I'm going to show you the MHTLurse.com site. Here is the MHTLurse.com site where we're on condition yellow. And I'm still working with the mobile device uh, link, so just uh, stay cool with that. Uh, Super Typhoon alert for Japan, watching the area very close. In fact, if you see on the uh, site here, here is the path uh, headed straight for Japan. Of course, there's a big cone of uncertainty, uh, so we got plenty of time to watch the storm, but I'll be on condition yellow just so Japan and everyone out there can be warned about this big storm and even another storm right behind it, which is actually known as 27W. I'll be watching that very very close over the next couple of days to see if it has any impact with Typhoon Francisco. So this is the latest update from the JTWC from Super Typhoon Francisco. This is brought to you by uh, the tropicalblogspot.com. I'll post the link in the uh, description of the video below. It says warning number 16 from the JTWC at 2100 GMT. Position is 17.4 degrees north and 138.4 degrees east. The location is 803 miles south east of Kadena Air Force Base, Okinawa, Japan, 250 mile or degrees west-northwest at 7 knots is a movement and the maximum sustained winds are 140 knots gusting to 170 knots. That's why they're considering this to be a super typhoon. And of course uh, there's no telling what could happen once the other 27W gets close by. We'll watch that very close and I'll show you this on the radar in just a moment. The threatened landmass continues to be Japan. Maximum significant wave height feet is 59 feet. The next warning from the JTWC is at 300 GMT. It says here Francisco is intensifying uh, whilst moving northwest and will peak 145 knots within the next 12 hours. A weakening trend will commence as the cyclone appears north of Han approaching Japan, eventually veering northeast and becoming an extra tropical. So I'll be watching that very close because it could be a good news that this could be dropping in size only because of 27W. So let's take a look at the latest radars here by clicking here for the latest radar animations. If you go down on the list all the way to the bottom, you'll see Francisco tracking radars down here listed below. Let's take a look at the best one here, which is the uh, aviation color enhancement. And I'll bring that up here. You'll see this. In fact, you know what? Let me go to the other one real quick. The west infrared is pretty good. And here's the Typhoon uh, Francisco. But right behind it, guys, you see 27W trying to form something there. It looks like we're going to have to watch that very, very close as we get into the next five days. I'll watch it for you and continue to keep track of this storm system for Japan. Uh, there's a possibility, a strong possibility, that it could go straight into Tokyo, I'll be watching that very close, but I think it's the path may be changing before that because the path again has a giant cone of uncertainty around it, and, and those of you know it always changes. So once again, folks, stay alert, be cool. I'll be watching it. I'll give you the latest advisories as they come out uh, on Super Typhoon Francisco and 27W. If 27W does change, I will definitely update you on the latest info. Thanks for watching, stay alert. Be cool and have a nice day.